Yes, it was a busman's holiday for many people. Even on Christmas Day, the wheels must not stop turning altogether. And while we were sitting, replete and cosy by the fire, unnamed heroes and heroines carried on the essential services that gave us our comfort and our safety. Milkman, for instance. He was early abroad on December the 25th, wheeling through the quiet streets his trolley and his greeting. Milk won't wait anywhere, not even in the car. And out in the country, farmers and their dairymen had the usual routine to observe. The postman had his rounds to make. Belated cards and parcels from thoughtless people who did not post early for Christmas. And there were still Sunday newspapers. The news agent and the paper seller were on the job. And speaking of news, there were the BBC services, with producers, announcers, artists and engineers all hard at work making other folks' holiday bright and musical. This was another and sadder kind of listening. No time for rest or merrymaking can be spared by those who fight against pain and disease, doctors, nurses, and their many unseen helpers. No rest for those who stand by waiting for the urgent call of danger. 88 fire calls were answered on Christmas Day by brigades in the London area alone. And high up in the list of civic watchfulness, after disease and danger, comes dirt. And the scavenger was at work on Christmas Day, doing his humble but essential duty. The lifeguard sat statuesque and brilliant, watching over near deserted streets. Although in Trafalgar Square nearby, there was a thin trickle of Christmas traffic. Traffic control was not quite the tiring job it usually is, but there the traffic policeman stood, while his colleagues walked a strangely quiet and deserted beat. And if you're wondering for a moment how these pictures came to be taken, well, cameraman Mike Lewis, too, was just one of the world's workers on Christmas Day, 1949.